Well, hello, guys. It's been a very long time. I have missed you all sorely, let me tell you. Listen, I've been getting some very interesting questions since I have disappeared from the Earth. Uh, probably the most common one is, Courtney, you dead? Where are you? Well, let me tell you, I have the conclusive answer here. I have the final answer to your question. No, I'm not dead. I'm here, and not only am I alive, but I have some stories for you, so, so without further ado, let me tell you. If we roll back the clock about you know, four weeks or so, I made a video, my last video, I said I had to fly, I had this whole experience with the airport, that I was dreading, and I said, please pray for me, let me tell you, you guys need to pray a little bit harder, because, uh, you know, in my video I outlined sort of like a worst case scenario, bad things that can happen to a person when they fly, well, let me tell you, it was worse. Yeah, 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 that's an understatement. That is an understatement. Okay, okay, let, let me let me explain, let me explain. So, dinky little airport that I'm going to, not a lot of entertainment there. In fact, there are exactly four gates. Four gates! Four gates in this airport, can you believe it? Yeah, so anyway, I get there around 4.30 in the afternoon, my roommate drops me off, and my flight is supposed to be about 5.30, right? 5.30? Let me tell you, they just kept on delaying the the, the flight, they just, uh, delay, delay, oh, excuse me, we're delaying here, it was 10.30 at night before I got to my plane, got on the plane, 10.30, 10.30 before we took off, ridiculous, so needless to say, I missed my connection, which left me stranded in O'Hare National Airport, in O'Hare, now listen, the, the good people at this dinky airport that I arrived at, I had the audacity, they had the audacity to have my bags not 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 just automatically transferred to whatever plane I finally got on to get home. No, no, they had it so that mine were dropped off at the little baggage claim area. Needless to say, I had to leave the secured area in the airport where everybody has gone through, you know, the little detectors and nobody has knives or weapons. No, I was out there where the freaky people from the street can just come in and get me. They can get me. So I'm there, and uh, I cannot get back in the secured area because it's now probably oh midnight. Yeah, around midnight. I'm stuck in O'Hare. Midnight. Not in the secured area. Funny looking people all around me. I love ugly people, but dear God, you're scary at midnight. You're scary at midnight. So, ugly people around me, kind of looking at me. I have lots of bags. I'm thinking, what the hell? So anyway, I decided, okay, I'm a brave girl. I don't have any money. I'm going to camp out in the bathroom, in the ladies' room. So there I am. I know this is gross, but there I am. I'm perched up on the baby chaining table, getting all comfortable. I have my belongings splayed out, have my little phone charger plugged into the wall, and I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get some shut eye. I hear suddenly the thump, thump, thump of feet, and so I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna get kidnapped, there's some kind of scary person coming in here to get me, you know, and my heart is beating, it's just like pounding, right? And then, then suddenly appearing, coming through around the corner, there it is. Oh, it's an old lady. It was not some scary looking person. It was just this kind looking, sweet faced, benevolent looking woman, very old. And I smiled and said, oh, sweet relief. So anyway, then she goes in the stall, right? She, she goes, this old woman goes in the bathroom stall. And, uh, you know, I'm there feeling good about myself that I'm not going to be kidnapped, killed, murdered, you know, things like that. And all of a sudden, I notice this woman in the stall, this old woman, begins having a conversation. She's talking, and so I think, oh, okay, old woman, she's probably on the cell phone. I, I mean, come on, you know, how many of us, how many of us can honestly say they have not talked on the cell phone in the bathroom? We've all done it, it's okay, you can admit it, we've done it, it's okay. But then, all of a sudden I realize that this conversation seems to be turning sour because I just begin hearing profanity of the likes I've probably never heard before. I mean, this is not just profane. This is not just cussing. This is vulgar. I mean, we're talking anatomical. Anatomical, right? But I'm thinking, okay, pretty soon it becomes clear to me this woman is not actually speaking with anyone on the phone. No, she is having a conversation with one of her multiple selves. She is yelling at no one, yelling in the bathroom, cussing, profane, getting anatomical, in the stall, just me in there, but I think, okay, maybe she's having a bad day. We all, from time to time, get a little pissed off, and we'll get a little bit anatomical. It's all right, you can admit to it. But then, then she begins banging, violently banging on the wall of the bathroom stall. She's banging on the walls, and she begins rhythmically shouting, rhythmically, in the name of Jesus, banging, banging on the wall. And I'm thinking, oh my God, 
Am I gonna die? Like, is this an exorcism? What is this psychotic woman? And so it's like, I cannot get my bags quick enough. I cannot get them. I can't. I'm trying to unplug my charge. I'm trying to pack up all my shit. I'm waking up. I'm thinking, oh, like tears, tears. I was so scared, so scared. Needless to say, I got my ass out of there. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm here. But uh, I was terrified. Ended up having to go to a hotel room. Had a couple of hours. Had I had to be back at the airport at 4:30. Seriously, the hotel I stayed in probably averaged out to about 70, maybe 80 dollars an hour that I spent there. Yeah. Yes. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Needless to say, I absolutely abhor flying. If you can somehow find a way to drive someplace, I would recommend it. I would recommend it. So anyway, that, that's my story. My story. I nearly died. And um. Furthermore, I, I, I have to tell you, since I've been back, I've been getting a lot of comments. Because, you know, I did indulge in some of that good Christmas holiday eating, and people have been coming up to me and they say, Courtney, you've gained some weight. Since when is this okay? People take liberties with you. People take liberties. Like, do they think this is all right? Do they think that it's okay? Is it all right to just come up to somebody and comment on their body? It is not okay to comment on people's body weight, especially when you don't know them. Anyway, needless to say, it's been an interesting past few weeks, and I hope that yours have gone more pleasant than mine. But, uh, in the spirit of the holidays, I have to say, Happy New Year, guys, and I hope that you all are doing well. In fact, in this time that I have not been making videos, I've been thinking very deeply about a few things, and so in, the, in a, a short while, I'll be making more videos for you guys. And, uh, anyway, I, I hope that all of you who are experiencing problems similar to mine, maybe some, some unpleasant traveling experiences, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, s struggling with, you know, the same old eating disorders, whatever it is you're trying to conquer. I really hope that you are successful, and I hope that you'll take advantage of this opportunity, new year, new outlook, new way of being and doing stuff, and feeling good, and I hope that you all are just having a fantastic day, and, uh, yeah, I will see you all later. Bye.